If there's something on your mind that you would like to get off your chest, all you have to do is give us a call right now. 6797104 is our telephone number. And get it off your chest is pretty much, well, we never know what's going to happen. We just never, yeah, ever like, know. Yeah, like this. How random yeah. is this? How, how random is this? Don't yeah. say what I'm doing here, okay? Don't say but what But look you're... what I found. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm addicted. Addicted to it. So I'm, are you watching? Yeah, go oh, on, yeah. Go. Oh, hey, look at that. That's very good. Yes. Where'd you get that? I see when he gets, uh, it's making a comeback. Ah, they, they, that, that happens every couple of years. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it makes a comeback oh. every couple of years. Okay, I have something in my hand, uh, basically, that um, that was huge years ago when I was a kid. Yeah. And it's making a comeback. Well, let's see if anybody can guess, first of all, what well, it is. Can I have a go of it? You wouldn't be any good at it. I, 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 I would, yeah. Really? Yeah, let me have a try. Let's see, 53104. If anybody can, uh, let's see if I can do can guess it. can guess what it is. Uh, okay. This, this toy. Okay, now someone sent it in to me yesterday. I used to be very good at it at this. Yeah, let's see. Let's see now. Hey, on, this man. is the radio agent. They can't see what you're doing. Oh look at oh, that! Oh look at that! Oh that was... yeah. Oh, that's very smart. Look oh, at you. Oh yeah. I have it going on, haven't I? Oh, you do. Yeah. Oh, five, was... five, three, one, oh, four. Does anybody yeah, know what it is? Yeah, we got to get me one of these. But seemingly they are making a comeback. Um, but they never really went anywhere. Ah, they did. They're a bit naff, aren't they? Yeah, Tad, yeah. Let's see if anybody... But now, when I, when I was a chung fella, yeah? Yeah. I used to be fairly good at them. Really? Yeah. Can, you do, be... can you do lots of uh, fancy things with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look, at I can do it. Look, watch. Ooh, wow, look at that. But, but that's nothing. That's what I just did. Oh, really? Yeah. I can do it with my eyes closed. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you can't, actually. Oh, no, I can't. No. <laughs> It's not a it's not a Rubik's cube. No, it's uh, not a Rubik's cube. Nigel, no, it's not a Rubik's cube. Um, uh, but I have to say, I'm addicted to it. Yeah, no, it is quite good. And if you get good at it, yeah. Yeah. Well, it has its ups and downs. It does have its ups and downs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if you get good at it, when you stop texting in Rubik's cube, it's not a. It's Rubik's not a Rubik's cube. cube. Like hello. And someone texts in is a Rubex. That's a tablet you put in your drink. It is. It's they're lovely now, but that's not what it is. No, no. it's not Rubex. No. Um, Text no, is now no, 53104. Five, it's, it's not a slinky, Nigel. Now, I used to love slinky as well. I'll give you a clue. You ready? Whoa! Woo! Whoa! Woo! <laughs> You're brutal. I am brutal at it. Um, no, it's not slinky, but I used to love slinky as well. Do you know, remember what slinky was? Yes, it was a thing that... You he put. walked down the stairs. Slinky did. Yeah. All by himself. It's not a Tamagotchi either. No, Sinead, it's not a Tamagotchi. No, no. This, this thing that I have, it was, it was huge when I was a kid. Yeah. And they used to have um, they used to have uh, competitions and all that, and they used to you know have big conferences where uh, big conferences they did. Did they really? Yeah. In fact, this will tell you it, it is making a comeback because uh, two years ago, I was in uh, Florida, and right. the, ho- the hotel I was staying in in Florida, they were having a conference for one of these, and it was all the champions from all around America that were meeting to basically show off their their moves with this. Uh, and Dylan, no, it's not clackers. What's clackers? Clackers are, um, they're, they're like balls that you do this with. You bounce them up and down. No, it's and not. And bang, bang them off each other. I, okay, I'm going I'm to give you a clue on it. This this uh, this particular pastime has its ups and downs. It does. Look. Woo! <laughs> Woo! You, you may as well just say what it is like. No, because some, some, some people are getting it complete. It's not Connect 4, Graham. It's not Connect 4. Yeah. Well, I let them know what it is. Um, and Nigel, no, it's not a, a, a Dido. A what? A Dido. Look, he just texted in, is it a Dido? What's a Dido? Oh, no, a dildo. <laughs> Why would you be going like that with a dildo? Woo! Well, they have their ups and downs about No, No, nobody knows. No, hang on, we, we will get somebody. Somebody has... Oh, there, there, ring ring that person there. It's not a pogo stick, Sarah. As if we'd be on a uh, a pogo stick in the studio. Well, you'd make a bit more there, noise. Ring, ring ring her there. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, a, Hang on, what he's doing that, I just want to have another go with this. This is brilliant. Woo! You have to lose our number now, you big do. dope. Oh, Aoife. There you go, look. That's not or Aoife, Ash, anyway. It's Ash. Oh, a, a, one, two. Okay, I tell you, I was yeah. at home and I, I, was, I, was, I was fingering it all night. Sticking, you, yeah. sticking me finger in. Yeah, well, you have to. You, have you to can't st- do it without doing no, that. No, you have to stick your finger Hello? in. Ash, what is this bloody thing he's playing with? A yo yo. A yo yo! What age are you? 26. Now, okay, you're about the same age as myself. Shut up, Adrian. 
Um, so you would have been around. You would have. <laughs> please, please let me. You let would have me. been around when these were big. Uh, have Have you used one in a while? Not a long time now. Well, what do you think of them? They're deadly, aren't they? Uh, they're just yeah. the coolest. You get a triangle. No, how do you do the triangle? You you bounce oh, it down. Yeah. You're walking along the ground. You get it back up again. String with two fingers and then swing it in the middle. Oh, like you the triangle. Uh, so oh yeah, it's doing this carry uh, on. Some, yeah. people, some people don't like when you stick the two fingers. No, no, uh, just <laughs> shut up, Jeremy. Shut up. Sorry, We're talking about a yo-yo. Sorry, Ash. Sorry, Ash. That's okay. Um, yeah, a yo-yo. Now, so for, what? What different? You seem to know a lot about it. What are the different moves that you can do with the yo-yo? Because all I can do is the one where I roll it down like this. I don't okay. know, just when I was a kid, no, you, like all, the, all the lads on the road could do all these different tricks, so no, I never the, could do them. The one I can remember, Ash, is take the dog for a walk. Is that where you roll yeah, it down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, I'm going to try this on the table. Hang on there. On the ground. Huh? Okay, hang on, I'm going to try this on the table. So wait for it. Here we go. I have the yo-yo, and I'm going to bang it down the table and try and take the dog for a walk. Here we go. Awful, I could hear that fall. No, no, <laughs> no you're it, brutal, Dixon. No, it didn't happen. You need a bit more practice. Now, would you, if, the, if these appeared in the, uh, the shops... Uh, yeah. Again, would you go out and buy one, Ash? I would, yeah. For the crack. Now, years ago, uh, Coca-Cola used to give them away free. I always remember Coca-Cola. Yeah, would... I had one. Yeah. Um, are you listening, Mr. Coca-Cola? You should do that again. Yeah, there's nobody called Mr. Coca-Cola. Ah, well, whoever it is. His name is Mr. Cola. <laughs> oh, sorry. Miss, Mr. Cola. Yeah, hopefully he'll um, he'll get he'll get the message. Because it would it'd be a huge hit for them again, wouldn't it? It would. They used to have ones with lights on them and everything. No, this one, has, yeah, this, this one has a light on it. It's called a, uh, the, the, the Speedline Yo-Yo, it's called. Yeah, they're cool. Um, now, Ours are fun. No, I have to say, I have to say, they're dangerous as well, uh, Ash, can I just tell well, you? They're dangerous. 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 Yeah. And his, his weight, his weight fluctuated. Like one day he was 12 stone, the next day he was 8 stone. I think it was something to do with his, his yo-yo diet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's a laugh a minute. You're all, you what? Uh, attached, like the ad on the telly for yo-yo dieting when they're all attached to these leading. Yeah, leading. but I, I just told a joke there. Yeah, uh, he was. The ad made it a joke there. <laughs> Ash, would you, you, I, like, I like the sound of you. Have we ever spoken to you before? No, never. Why no. not? How, how come? What happened? What did we do on you? Because you always ignore my text. Why did you ignore her text? <laughs> I didn't. That time I rang her. I uh, know, no, you don't easily, but you, uh, that's the first time I got something right. <laughs> oh, well, then that's probably why we ignore your text if you get yeah. stuff wrong. <laughs> um, but it's lovely to talk to you. You, you too, guys. Uh, make, you sure, to make sure you're on to us again, Ash. I will. Bye bye. Uh, 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 free pies? Yeah, we give you a locator gadget. Yeah, Just give that one. lady a locator gadget. You better find her text there. Yeah, electronic on, there you locator. Go. Uh, what is your what is your number ending? What's the last three digits of your phone number? Um, one, six, one, one. You don't five, even know. Eight one three. Eight one three. Yeah. Ash. I was there for a minute. Ash. Hello, Ash. Yeah. How how you doing? What? Grand. How are you doing? She sounds hot, doesn't why, she? Why are you doing that? She sounds hot. <laughs> are you a good-looking girl, are you? Amazing. <laughs> nah, you... No, she's not. Anyone who says they're amazing-looking <laughs> usually usually isn't. Have you have you got a boyfriend? I do, yeah. Ah, good luck. Oh, yeah. I mean, if, you, if, you were to com- if you were compare to compare yourself to someone famous, who do you look like? Oh, I wouldn't do that. I know, but who do you look most like? Who do I look most like? Yeah. I look like myself. No, but who famous? Like, do you look like Angelina Jolie? No, I don't. Okay, so you're not, because she's bet down. Yeah, I she is, yeah. <laughs> you're better looking. Do you, do, you, do you look like your woman, Megan Fox? No. Oh, well, then get off the line. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, good luck, lad. Bye, 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 bye. Yeah, bye. there it is. It's a yo-yo. Yeah, that's what it is. And um, are they making a, If there's anybody listening... Well, obviously they're making one. You have one in your hand. Yeah, look, I'm going to do it one more time. You ready? And back up. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> um, if there's anybody listening who was a uh, a yo-yo expert back in the day, or maybe like, what what are the different tricks you can do with a yo-yo? Well, the one I used to be able to do. Let me see. Can I do it again? Yeah. Okay. Hand it over there, and I'll see if I can. I, I used to be able to uh, make a walk along the ground. Yeah. 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 Um, this doesn't make particularly good radio. I just have to tell you. I know. I know. But who who cares? And this is this is a good one. This is a well-made one. Because sometimes you get really cheap ones, you know? Yo, yo, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see, can I do it now? Hang on. I used to be able to make it walk along the ground. Yo, yo. Okay. Okay. So, here we go. 
Oh, oh, oh. No, oh, no, no, Kennedy, no. Kennedy. You, no. You know, I heard that about you before. What? You're no good at flicking it. Hang on Look, no, you haven't got a clue. You haven't got a clue. Get up there. No, it wouldn't walk. Ah, it's a cheap yoke, this is. It's not a cheap yoke, it's your hand. You haven't got the, the wrist action. Have you not? No. Anyway, we, we, we want to hear from somebody who uh, who is a um, a yo-yo expert. Are you someone that back in the day was able to uh, do all those sort of uh, mad yo-yo things? I mean, some people can swing them around their head and all that. They can. Well, I'm not joking you. Um, yesterday, I got about an hour and a half's enjoyment out of that. I did, I, you see, I get bored after about 20, 15 minutes. Really? Yeah. But no, yeah, yeah, yeah I see, I see what you're, yeah. And you know, so, you know, I was, uh, I was telling my, uh, I was telling my mates that yeah. I was that I was playing with this for for the, for an hour and a half yesterday, and they were all, they were calling me a sad bastard and all that. So you know what I said to them? No, what did you say? Yolo. <laughs> okay. Yolo. Yeah, yeah, it's called a yo yo. I know, but I said to them, Yolo. I know, but it's you only, a, you only live once. I know what YOLO you means. You don't know what YOLO means. Of course I do. No, you don't. You're old. Six seven nine seven one zero four is our telephone number. Uh, Derek. How's it going? How are you, Derek? Now, um, you you were good at the yo-yo back in the day, were you? I wasn't bad. I wasn't bad. I won a couple of competitions. Oh, really? They actually had yeah. competitions. They had. They used to have them outside Christie's Chipper in Weaver Square. There. Ah, Christie's Chipper. Good old Christie's. Yeah, is Christie still around? Is he? No, it's gone years. Oh, the chipper's gone as well, is it? Ah, yeah. So go on anyway. I don't know whether he's dead now, but the chipper's gone years. So you used to do it outside the chipper? Yeah, and if you won, you won a, a 12 pack of mini cans of coke. You know, like the ones you get in the airport? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You used to give them out. They were called the Russell Spinners. And what? It was just locals, local kids all uh, playing yeah. against each other? They used to have these, uh, they were kind of doing a promotion, and they had these fellas, and they were all going around different parts of Dublin. They were on the lay late and everything they were, and they'd be there and they'd be judging the competitions. What, and they just went around random chi- shops or chippers or whatever? I don't know, but it was just, I was, it was, I was on the chipper. I was on a couple of times at the chipper. Really? Yeah. And and all the kids in the area would come around and take yeah, part? you just have a go, yeah. And what, what, were you good? I, was, I could do a few of the tricks. Like, what was your, what was your best one? Uh, I could walk the dog. Which is basically uh, walking along the ground? Yeah, and then there was the loop-the-loop, and then there was the shotgun. There's a few other tricks. Uh, there was the, uh, I couldn't do the, I could do it the odd time to rock the baby in the cradle. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Derek, or, uh, Derek, is it like riding? Like you never forget, you know the way when they say once you... Well, I, I don't know. I haven't had a go on a while now. Because so that's what I'm you... wondering. If you got one in your hand, do you think you'd be able for it? I'd say I'd have a good go. Because like, I haven't ridden a bike in years, but I know I'll still be no, able to do it when I get it. it. Once you get, your string wasn't, you know the way it gets raveled? Keep it straight. And that then it, it wouldn't really get tangled up. Hang on, hang on, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Look, I'm an expert. Take all, take all the wines out of the, out of the twine. And what about uh, Conquerors? You were probably good at Conquerors as well, right? Yeah, uh, I used to play Conquerors all right, yeah. So I can't believe it, Derek. We're actually talking to a yo-yo um, champion. I wouldn't say now a uh, 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 world champion. Or anything. I, I was good enough to be... No, but you, 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 won, yeah, you, won, yeah. you won cans of Coke in Christie's I Chipper. Did, yeah, I did. Adrian, did you ever win? I never won cans of Coke out of Chip- Christie's Chipper, no. No, no. Well, fair play to you. All right. Good man. Anyway, they're, they, they are making a comeback. Um, yeah. Thanks very much. Bye bye. No problem, right? Bye 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 bye. You know, you've seen as we're talking about nostalgia, I'd love to talk to somebody who was a breakdance champion. God, they must be very old now. Well, what age would they be? A bit, um, old. Really? Yeah. Well, well, how long ago was breakdancing? They'd be in their forties anyway. How long ago was breakdancing? Oh, that was in the mid eighties. Oh, was it? Yeah. How would I know about that? I wasn't even born. <laughs> you were though. You were. You were. Um. Six seven nine seven one zero four is our telephone number. Um, now, what, what is that? Was that your favourite toy as a kid? It was a yo-yo? We're not talking about what's your favourite toy as a kid. I'm asking you a question. We're not talking. Don't about you that tell either. me what I'll do? No, nobody. Ladies and gentlemen, call us down. Oh, let us know what your favourite toy was when you were a kid, and what little... what you would like to see being brought back. Kennedy, you lameoid, you. <laughs> you are so lame. Six seven nine seven one zero four. If you heard that on another radio, our, radio station, you're what going, would I say? That's shite. Oh no, I'd say what's what's Jeremy doing? He's not coming up with good if ideas. If you heard someone on another talk show, six going, seven nine seven one zero four. What was your favourite toy when you were a kid? Who'd Give us a call now and let us know. Who'd get a job on radio sounding like that? I'm just saying. Seriously. Give us a call, which is our number, and tell us what your favourite toy was. We're not talking about your favourite toy. But you brought one in. I know. I love this. I have to say, I love it. Derek, you're on FM one hundred and four. How are you, Derek? Uh huh. Oh, oh no, Kevin, we already spoke to, spoke to Derek. Kevin. Kevin, how are you? How's it going, lad? Now, uh, what's up, Kevin? What do you want to get off your chest? He's a 
it's probably something easy, but sure, no, I'm going to complicate the whole lot. Uh, county council fees for plan permission. Say that again? That's uh, probably the bugger accent, is it? Uh, me, <laughs> county council fees for plan and permission. Yeah, what about them? Exactly, the price. Why is mead so expensive to, uh, compared to West Mead and Offaly and Kildare and Dublin? Yeah, because you couldn't pay me enough money to move it out to me. <laughs> I hate that county. Why, what's the story? It's completely, it's much more expensive to get planning permission in mead than it is anywhere else. Yes. But and, and I wouldn't mind, I'm 300 yards from Offaly and 300 yards from West Mead. Why don't you just move then? I can't, fucking bog's in the way. Oh, All right. What's in the way? The bog. The bog. You live, what, you live beside a bog? Yeah, parallel, yeah. Yeah, you know, I have a mate who lives down there beside the bog as well. Do you know my mate Pete? Yeah, and sure. Ah, yeah, Pete you. lives beside the bog. Does he? <laughs> yes, he does. He does. He's a nice fella, Pete. He's a lovely fella, yes, yeah. Yeah. Um, And do you know his brother? No. Moss, Mossy. Oh, Moss? Mossy. Moss you know? and Pete? Moss and Pete. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two brothers, yeah. Um, Anyway, what, do you, you... How can we help you? Yeah, what, what do you want us to do for you? How can we help you? Actually, I don't know. You usually talk about good old stuff, but I'm actually going to bore the place. Yeah, but that, I have to say, Kevin, that's the most boring topic we've ever heard yeah, on the show. All right. Um, and your class, I usually listen to these on Monday nights coming home from soccer. Um, I don't know. What's, I'm not really answering that. Well, what's the most interesting thing to no, talk okay, about? Okay, you, you're a regular listener to this show, yeah? I am indeed, yeah. No, but now, don't make fun of them, Adrian. I'm just trying to get planning permission. Yeah, yeah but uh, anyway. at what point would... Uh, uh, honestly, now, because we only took the call because we thought, what the hell is this fella on about? Uh, at what point would we ever want to talk about planning permission on this show? Because I'm going for planning permission and I don't really don't think I, it's fair. Hello? Oh. Oh, he's after falling into the bog. <laughs> oh. Did you ever visit my two mates that live beside the bog? Who? I've actually three mates that live beside the bog. Oh, have you? Yeah, I've Pete. Yeah. You know Pete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pete lives right beside the bog. I've uh, Mossy. Yeah. You know Mossy? I know him, yeah. Mossy loves the bog. Yeah. And I've Alan. Alan? Alan. Moss, Pete, and Alan. And Alan. Alan? Alan. Lives beside the bog? Yeah. Somebody out there got that joke. <sighs> well, it wasn't really a joke. It wasn't that funny. Well, I got the, I got the Moss. Moss, Pete. Yeah, yeah I got yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. I got... um. The Pete. Uh, I got Pete, yeah. Yeah. And Alan. Alan. Anybody get that one? Alan lives beside the bog. Yes, he does. The bog of Alan. The bog of Alan. Oh, I got it! Oh, you... <laughs> oh, I got it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. One, of the, one of the most uh, boring school trips I ever went on. What, the bog of Alan? When our geography teacher turned around and said, Today, um, the boys and girls... Well, it was boys only. We were only in a boys' school. Although some of the lads were a bit girly, so... Yeah, you were one of them. Yes, I was. Um, today, boys and girls, we are travelling to the bog of Alan. For a school tour. What, I've never been there. What is it? It's shite. <laughs> <laughs> but what is it? It's just a big bog, isn't it? I don't know. Um, no, no, seriously. I, what's, what's well, the... I haven't been there since I was in third year. I was in third year in school. Yeah. So it's about 10 years ago. Ten years. Yeah, it's about 10 years ago since I've been there. If anybody lives near the Bog of Allen, can you call us and let us know um, what the hell goes on down there? It's basically a bog. Um, what? You brought a load of school kids down to see a bog? Yeah, yeah. Fran, you're on FM 104. How are you, Fran? Hi, how are you doing? Very good, Fran. What's up? What do you want to get off your chest? Um, well, for starters, I'm just looking for a bit of advice. Um, my sister went to collect my nephew today from school. And um, she was a little bit late and she went to the office and she asked where my nephew was and they said to her, he's in the classroom. So she went to the classroom and the teacher had told her her son had already gone home with somebody else. What? But Yep, and when my sister asked her who it was, she said, oh, um, I just saw someone with long dark hair and I thought it was you. Really? Um, <laughs> her friend was with her, so she asked her friend to run around and look for him. They couldn't find him in the school anywhere. And basically, my five-year-old nephew had crossed two main roads in cover to get home. And my sister said that nobody in the school seemed interested or didn't ask her if she was okay or didn't ask like how the, her son was or anything. She said basically it's like they didn't care. Ooh, that's very serious. That is yeah. extremely serious. I, um, I'd be back down to that school. When, when did this happen today? 
this today, yep. Well, I'd be back down to that school tomorrow and I'd be kicking down the place. I would go absolutely ballistic over that. Yeah, I was saying the same thing. Now, I was just wondering, um, would you know who to ring to complain about it? Cause, like, well, the principal, I'd start with the principal in the school and work from there. And work from there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I certainly wouldn't uh, wouldn't tolerate that. No, see, I'm a childcare worker myself, and I know if that happened to me, I'd be sacked on the spot for doing it. Yeah, of course you would. Um, and proper order as well. She's very annoyed. Like, she wouldn't get on the phone tonight because she said she's just really, really shocked and peed off because the teacher didn't seem bothered at all. She just said, oh, I saw somebody with black hair and I thought... And I thought it was you and I let the child go. And she let the child go. Mm. Now, lucky enough, my nephew is quite clever. Um, He, when my sister asked him how did he get home, he said he pressed on the green lights and he waited for the man to cross the road. That's that's absolutely scary. That is scary. That really is. Well, now, I, uh, like I said, I'd be down to that school tomorrow and I'd be banging on the on the principal's door looking yeah, for no answers. There's no need to bang on the door now, Adrian. Well, knock. Yeah, knock, gently. Um, hello, principal. <laughs> yes, hello, principal. Is the principal a man or a woman? Um, I think he's a man. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's yeah. irrelevant. It's the head teacher. Yeah. Uh, no, straight down to that school tomorrow and cause bloody blue murder. I mean, five, really? five years of age is... Yeah. Child, I assume the child has just started school. Um, he's yeah, he would have been. He's just in junior infants now. Yeah, so he's only started like last week, yeah. and he's he's walking home on his own. No, 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 no. And what's no. what's usually the school policy about letting kids? They're not meant to let them go at all. No. No, as far as I know now, I've been a healthcare you've... worker. If somebody comes in to me and I don't recognise their face... No, unless, unless it's previously arranged by the parents and you know who it is yeah. that's collecting. So, hang on, Frank. Could I not go tomorrow and pick up, say, my uh, my niece or nephew from a school without... Uh... Not without uh, Mammy's not without permission Mammy. already, in advance. Sometimes you need a permission tip and there has to be a password on it as well. And that's the way it should be. Well, you need passwords and all. Yeah, because you don't want any any randomer walking in off the street picking up a child, and that's exactly what happened here in this case. Down to the principal tomorrow. Okay, and would you ring the um, the educational health board? The uh, you the, the who the, the, the Department um, of Education. Department of Education. Sorry. Uh, I, I, I'd see a... what I get from the. I'd see how I um get on with the principal first. Before I do anything, but uh, uh, if you don't, if you're not happy, but it's not you, it's her. If she's yeah. not happy with the the answer she gets from the school, then I would. Okay, then. But that's that's a serious. Uh, what's what's the word? Um, a serious issue. I, no, not issue. That's not the word. You know, a failure. Like what's a, a serious failure? Yes, that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good. Thanks, Fran. Okay. Let, let bye us bye. let us know how you get on, will you? I will do. Yeah, no problem. Now no, make sure right. that don't be one of these people that says you will let us know and you won't let us know then. I know, I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. Okay, thanks. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Hang that hang that principal by the trollics. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> okay, thanks. See ya. Bye 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 bye. Six seven nine seven one oh four is our telephone number. If there's something on your mind that you would like to get off your chest, you can get it off your chest right now. I tell you nothing scared us more when we were kids than go to the principal's office. Do you remember it? Oh do I what? Do you remember it? Yes, I do. Well, why were you called to the principal's office? <sighs> Smoking. No no, 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 no. I'm sure it was. I'm what, sure. in primary school? No. <laughs> well, I don't know. What age were you when you started? Six or something? Yeah, six. Uh, I was sent down to the principal's office one day for... Um, Did that lady mention that school, by the way? No. She didn't? Okay. Um, I was sent down to the uh, school uh, principal's office because I hadn't got my homework done. Yeah? Yeah. But our principal now, unfortunately, retired the very first year I started school. Um, and our principal was too nice. So you'd go down expecting a, a bollocking, yeah? Yeah. And he'd give you a packet of sweets. Really? Yeah. That sounds a bit dodge. But yeah, was, that sounds very dodge. Come, but in, he, he, come um, in and have a packet of sweets. But he retired the next year. Oh, and he's probably dead now. He, he? he most likely is, I'd say. Now, you see, I Mr. Went, Murray was his name. Mr. Murray. Yep. And he was, lo- he was a lovely old headmaster. Well, I went to a yeah, Christian Brother school, as you know, so my trips to the principal's office were far more... Uh, lively. Lively, yeah. I used to get the cane. I got that a few times. And the keys on the back of the head. I tell you, you use people who were in school now, you don't know how easy a bloody have it. The teachers can't even touch you. Back in the day, the teachers... Dixon! They didn't say that to you, yeah, did Yeah, yeah. Sometimes Why would they do that? Uh, See, that's the way teachers. They've no respect. No respect for you. You're telling Dick. 
Dixon. You're telling me your, t- your teacher shouted Dixon at you? No. I find that impossible to believe. I swear to God. Yeah. Dixon. No, my, my mother complained about it. So they started to call me Jeremy again. Principal's office now! I know you find this hard to believe, but I was a bit of a class clown. I was the joker in the class. He used to tell the jokes. No, you, you told me before you sat down in the back of the class and nobody talked to you. Because you used to be a rat. Anyway, what I'm saying to you, those of you who grew up um, after corporal punishment was removed from schools, you don't know how lucky you had. Absolutely, yeah. I remember going home one, one day, yeah, and my arse was red raw. Oh, no, that was after the night I had out with you, actually. It was, was. <laughs> Simon! Hi. How are you, Simon? Good, thanks. Simon, can you help us here? Uh, I'll try. Because people are texting in to say that um, the Bog of Allen is in Cork, Galway. If we're to believe everybody texting in, it's in every county in Ireland, basically. Now, I've, I've tried to Google it and nothing has come up. It's spelled A-L-L-E-N. Yeah, yeah thick Dixon. Who spells Allen that way? That's how it's spelled. The Bog of Allen, A-L-L-E-N. Oh, there it is. There, you're an absolute dope. Okay, what can you tell us about it, Simon? Well, it's in County Offaly, County Kildare, County Mead, County Leash and County West, West Mead. Well, uh, and it's basically a bog? Yeah, and why would you bring children on a tour to it? I have no idea. As, as punishment. <laughs> Obviously. Yes. Have you, have you ever seen the Bog of Allen? Uh, no. Have you any desire to see the Bog of Allen? No. No, I mean, why would you? Yeah, like, what, what would you do? Where was the worst place you went on your school tour, Simon? I remember. <laughs> How many years ago was it? Oh, ages ago. Really? You, you don't sound like you're about 18. I'm 20. He's wow, wet. two Jeez. years in the oh, day. I got that mad wrong. <laughs> I'd say you were the class clown back in the school days, were you? Uh, no. Really? Not like you. I find that hard to believe, because you're a bit of a wisecracker, aren't you? Uh, not really. Ah, I mean, no, the jokes are coming thick and fast here. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. Thanks, Simo. Good luck. Bye, 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 Jesus, bye. even a dentist couldn't pull a tooth out of that fella. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Six seven nine seven one zero four. This may seem a bit serious, number. but yep. I'm just after touching on it for a moment. Go on. Actually, why did I touch on it? You told me not to touch on it. Yeah, get on with it. Um, I'm just going to touch on this for a moment. But does anybody agree that um, that slapping should be brought back to schools? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. We well, haven't had a good Barney on the show. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, I'm a firm believer in um, corporal punishment. In really? Schools. Yeah, I am. Once it's not excessive. You I'm see, not, that's the problem. I'm not that's why about, it was eventually gotten rid of. I'm because, not talking about Magdalene laundries. No, but you see, that's the re- one of the reasons it was gotten rid of because uh, some people didn't know how to control it, and you had people knocking lumps out of kids. No, no, no. But b- basically, I'm talking about um, I'm talking about non-excessive. Basically, I'm talking about the odd slap. The odd slap. Yeah. But are you talking about? Wallops across the hand with a cane. Well, that's what I got. Oh, Jesus. Well, I, I can remember the pain of that to this day. Yeah, so can I, but it didn't, oh, do, me, it didn't do me any harm. It did your hand harm? Well, it did at the time. Yeah. Actually, you know, I went to a Christian brother's school. The only reason they whipped their hands was to stop us masturbating when we went home. <laughs> they were very against that. They did. They used to say that to us in school. Dixon! Are you going to masturbate when you go home he tonight? He didn't ask you that. He did. I no, he didn't. I'm telling no, you. No, he didn't. I'm telling you, he did. Stop telling lies. Basically, he did. Stop telling lies because you weren't that developed. I was sixteen at the time. Oh, were you? All right, yes. okay, yeah. But does anybody else agree that they should bring back a bit of slapping back into schools? Now, I'm not talking about. Uh, basically, I'm talking about. What am I talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Are you talking about lashing the child out of it with a cane? No, and that's, ba- what, that's what we used to get. No, basically, I'm talking about a little. A little what? A lot of kids are little shits in school nowadays. There was always little shits no, in there school. No, there wasn't little shits when I was in school. You were in school. I wasn't a little shit. I was a bollocks. That's different. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, didn't... yeah. I've, I've mixed mixed views on it. Yeah, well, well what's your view? I No, I, I, I don't think... I think there should be more discipline in schools, but I don't think but it should the be... Te- the teachers, I don't think it should be physical punishment. But the teachers can't even touch them anymore. No, I know. They're afraid to, to raise a hand to them. There's yeah. No, there's no, have you, I have a friend who's a uh, secondary school teacher. Mm-hmm. That, that a lot of them have no respect for the teachers anymore. They tell the teachers to piss off and all that. Now, I'm sorry. When I was in school, if I had told my teacher to piss off, yeah, I wouldn't be sitting down for a month. Do you know what it's like to have a raw arse? No. Do you know what it's like to, to be bent over and whipped repeatedly? No. Just checking. I yeah, well, I was never into that. No, no, it was never my thing, no. That's on the... Um, that's yeah. what? That's on the road to nowhere if you wrote that down. Look. 
Paul! Ah. Paul, will you get your act together? You didn't even spell your address right. Seriously, get it together. Text it in again. Like, where is that place? Poland? Rock new. <laughs> Where's rock new? I don't, it's, not, it's not in... In Talact. Anyway. Uh, Paul, get your act together, will you? Text it in properly or, or, or you get nothing. Now, um, Dan, you're on FM 104. How are you, Dan? Hi, um, I just want to ask if any listeners out there have any advice. It's my first time on as well. You're very welcome, Dan. You're it's, very, very welcome, Dan. It's great to talk to you. All right, thanks. Um, basically, what happened was, in my brother's school today, I'm not going to give the name. No, Jesus, don't. Well, no. No, what happened was um, there was this one guy and he's been bullied for a while now. And, uh, and uh, what happened was is that there was one guy that... Uh, he, he, the guy that bullied him, he just gave him a hard time for a whole year. And uh, what happened was one day, today, it was just earlier on, he, uh, he just lost the plot. And what happened was he went out and he got a hockey stick and he hit your man so hard he had to go to the hospital. Right. He, like, broke his hand and stuff and all that. But uh, I'm just wondering, this chap, like, he's he's been bullied for ages. And what happened was, is that the guy that's got hit is pressing charges. And uh, the, the, what's it, the guy um, is just, he's been suspended and all that. Like, just wondering, like, what really is the right way to go about this, like... I'm completely lost as to what you rang for. Well, I'm just wondering what people think, like, if, like, who thinks what to do or what and am to do. Should it be dealt with the school or what? Jesus, Agent, over to you. Over I'm to you. Completely... Well, bullying should not be tolerated in any school. Yeah, it shouldn't, but in the school they have a zero tolerance thing. But it's just... I'm sorry, the kid, the, the kid that was getting bullied uh, snapped and finally hit out, did he? Yeah, he did, yeah. And what's happened to him now? Um, I got suspended from school, but... Uh, and what has this got to do with you? You're not even in school. I know, but I'm just wondering, like... Oh, it's a bit odd, happened. though. That's, it is a bit odd, yeah. That's a bit odd, ringing about something that you, were, you weren't even involved in, wasn't it? Yeah, but... Uh, no, I was just... I was just so what's your, what's your main issue? I, I'm, I'm lost to know what your actual issue is here. Well, I'm just wondering, like, this, this guy... I'm just wondering, like... A bit bad out on what he's doing, like. I hate that bad out expression, by the way. Uh, do you? Yeah, don't All like right. it. Don't like it. Bad out. All now, right. Yeah, it's like amaze balls. I don't like that word either. Amaze balls? No, this no, is stupid. No need to say amaze balls. Yeah. Well, no, I just want to see what people's opinions are. And it's like. Well, a school will not uh, suspend or expel someone unless it's very, very serious. Absolutely, yeah. Isn't is yeah. that the bottom line? Yeah. yeah. They won't, though, should they both? No. See, this, uh, all, this all goes back to the slapping in schools, Adrian. Bring Helen, it. what's your view on uh, on corporal punishment in schools? Hello, really, Helen. Really? You feel that strongly about it? Helen. Yes, Adrian. Oh, oh. yes, Helen. Uh, I personally think that if... I think the pupils in the class... Uh, yes, in the classroom would have um, more respect for the teachers... If they were stricter, I agree with you. So, do you agree with a few slaps, Ellen? I, I, well, I never got slaps going to school because it was quite a while ago. But and were you a good girl in school? I, I wasn't. A, I, I was a good girl in, 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 in until I went into the secondary school. Oh, there were a few teachers I didn't like. You ran, you ran amok there. No, I just didn't. We were never. There was. I was. I didn't know what bullying was because. It wasn't in my... School. I know, but we're not talking about bullying. We're talking about teachers slapping the kids because they're no, little I shits. I don't agree with slapping the kids. And why not? If you, if you slap the kids, the kids will will be frightened of going to school then. Ah, no, 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 oh, no. No, no, no. Helen, Helen, you don't get a... strict... No, Helen, you don't get a slap unless you, you're, you're bold. I, I did get a slap no, and I wasn't did, bold. Okay, you got a slap because your name is Adrian. That's what you got a slap. You Stop it now. You're bullying me. Sorry, Adrian. I think if the, if the teachers are strict... The pupils then will have respect for them. But the, but the reality of it is nowadays, Helen, that they don't have any respect for their teachers. That's the well, truth I, of it. I, I can't say because I all I, I all I do know, of course, is when I see them on the bus. Mm. And, and when was the last time you were we went to school, Helen? How long ago were you in school? Oh, it was only a couple of years ago. I'm what say. Really? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Late finisher, maybe. That's amaze balls. Thanks, <laughs> Helen. That's amaze balls. <laughs> If I ever hear anybody using that to my face, by the way, 
There's two words that someone should never ever use to my face. Yeah. Amaze balls. Uh, yeah, is one. Or totes. Oh, yeah, totes. Yeah. But Jeez. Sarah said, don't diss amaze balls. Uh, that word has been put into the Collins dictionary this year. That's amaze balls in itself. That is amaze balls. <laughs> it is. Or people that put balls on the end of someone's name. Um, Hi, Adrian Balls. He should sue the school as they didn't intervene to stop the bullying. He was driven to uh, hit the bully. Um, and sorry, to that last person, we weren't taking the piss. I couldn't make head nor tail of, of, of the what, story. what the man was saying. Hmm. And he was. And another thing to that texter, uh, 352, that's not what he rang in to say he was want, we wanted to talk about. Yes, there was something else completely written on yeah, the screen. Yeah, which is why we were dealing with him with an, with an air of suspicion. Absolutely. Michael, you're on FM 104. How are you, Michael? Come on, Adrian. How you doing? Michael, Michael slapping in schools. Bring it back, yeah? Oh, it's, it's a long time ago. Like, I'm 42 now. <laughs> but uh, the music teacher, anything you've done wrong, she used to make you kneel in the corner on her cane now and face the wall. Say that again? She used to what? She used to, used to make you lean, kneel on her cane, the cane she had for slapping you, kneel on it now and face the wall for the whole class, for the whole period. Like. <laughs> lean on it and face the wall? Kneel on it. Oh, kneel on it. Uh, actually, kneel on a, on a bamboo stick? Yeah. Ow! <laughs> I know, yeah. But say that teacher oh, yeah. was one kinky bitch when she got back to the bedroom. No, but think good. about it. Ne- kneeling <laughs> yeah, on a bamboo I'm, stick. I'm thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, it was sore enough. Oh, I'd sore. say it was. Uh, well, I didn't get it all that often. Only had it once or twice. And, and or tell me this now, Michael. Now that you're a grown man, yeah? Yeah. Do you like a bit of pain in the bedroom? I can't say anything about that now. No, 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 no comment. Conversation. Oh, no really? comments. No comments. Really? Why not? We're talking about school. Just, Why? You... Just, yeah, it's just you know the way you've heard the bottom of your neck. What? You know the way you've heard the bottom of your neck or the bottom of your hernia. Oh, jeez, I do. Have yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Just to grab that now and lift you up onto your. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my yeah. teachers used to do that. Mrs. Sorry, Poole. When... Mrs. Poole was her name. What age did you start growing hair in your neck? At? I haven't even got hair in my neck yeah, now, and I'm 26. Yeah, you know, at the bottom of your hair. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. the bottom of your hair. And Mrs. Poole used yeah. to grab you by that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she'd oh, lift you up yeah. and she'd wallop the back off you. Yeah. She did. Yeah. No, she was an evil yeah. cow. Are you listening, yeah, Mrs. Sure Poole? I don't think you. Well, can... really it didn't do us any harm. If it didn't do any, if we were good in class, you wouldn't get it. You know. That's what I. That's what I think. If if you were good yeah. in class, you'd never. Ah uh, no! Everybody got it. I was a little goody two shoes, and I got a good hiding. Well, yeah, well, Nobody's yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. giving kids a hide. I'm talking about a little slap on the back of the hand. Yeah. Wouldn't you hate to be? Well, a, wouldn't you hate to be a teacher nowadays, Michael? With with some of the kids in school. Yeah, I would say that. Because you see, I, yeah, yeah, but here's yeah. the thing: when, when you get a bit older, how would you feel about somebody hitting your child a wallop? If they well, when I went home crying because the teacher hit me, my parents said to me, "You were obviously bold, and you deserve yeah, it." Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what they say. Yeah. Yeah, well, we got it when we were young, so you know. Yeah, why should they get away with it? Exactly. Yeah. 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 And a bit of a slap and a oh, it's teach, some of the teachers used to use. You know the leather slap you used to get. Yeah, sure. I don't mind an L slap nowadays, and I'm in my twenties, Michael. Yeah. When are you in your twenties? I'm in my twenties. You going backwards? Are you? You what, Michael? Uh, I- I think you're a better older than that, mate, aren't you? I, I think you're probably right, Michael. Yeah, it's time for you to go, Michael. Thanks. <laughs> Good luck. Bye bye, 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 bye. Uh, Margaret. Hi. How are you, Margaret? What do you think on, on uh, corporal punishment in schools? I don't agree with it. I think um, the parents should kind of take over that role. Yeah, but they're not. The parents nowadays, well, I'm not speaking for all parents, but a lot of parents don't give a fiddlers about their kids. Uh, that'll be something that they'll regret when their kids are older. So. No, they won't because it's... It's the they were the same themselves. Well, I I wasn't. <laughs> no, but I want to. Does feral parents rearing feral children at the moment? What's feral mean? Wild age. Who uses that word on the radio? I use the word feral. 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 You know what feral means, don't you, Margaret? Yeah, vile. No, no, feral means yeah. Out, what, out of control, is it? Yeah, wild, like raised on the streets. Yeah, well, my children aren't. No, no, because you sound like a decent mother. Thank you. <laughs> Do you ever slap them? No. Do you ever put oh, yeah. them? Do you ever put them on the bolt? Do you ever put them on the bolt step on the stairs? I do yes. Oh, you can't even do that anymore. No, no bolt step. Is <laughs> I, I was reading today that that's psychologically damaging children now. No, actually, it, it is not. It I is. That's what it, there was a, a report in the paper today claiming that uh, putting your oh, children on the bolt step is going to psychologically damage them. Oh, I believed everything I read. Trust me. Oh God, no. So which step on your stairs is the bolt step? No, there's they have a chair, um, a little cushiony chair. Oh, the bowl chair. Yeah, the naughty step. And how long do they have to? How long do they have to sit on the naughty uh, chair for? Well, my oldest is six, so he's he's not he's never on it. He's always good. Uh, 
three-year-old, three minutes. Three minutes on the naughty seat? Mm-hmm. If I was bold with Marcus, would you put me on the naughty seat? Yes. Oh. That's what, that's what we need, Adrian. I'll only do it if they if he kicks or slaps. I have to, I have to nip it in the bud then, you know. Mm. No, you're, de- you, you're dead right. So you don't want slapping brought back to schools? No, I don't agree with it because I I was scared. Um, I went to a convent and mm. I got the knuckle. My knuckles all badly bruised because I wrote my left hand. Yeah, why were the nuns... Yeah, my, um, that, that happened to my granny as well. Why were the nuns so vicious? Because if you were left-handed, it m- meant that you worshipped the devil. No, but you look at that yeah, movie... Right with both hands. <laughs> you look at that movie, The Sound of Music. None of the nuns in that movie are, are vicious. They're all lovely singers. Well, uh, while, while the cameras were on. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it's same, same it was different when the cameras were off. What was that other movie? Remember the other movie? About the nuns. About the nuns? Who used to sing. Sister Act. Is that it? Yeah, but they were all... They were I all love lo- him, I love him. They were I all lovely him. while the cameras were on as well. Like, there was no slapping going on there. Ah, only while the cameras were on. My sister went to a nunnery as well. And she said they were vicious. But you know when you see a nun on the street, now they always look a little... Soft angelic and, angelic and soft and stuff like ah, that ah yeah yeah yeah. it's only a, it's a myth um, 67971104 is our telephone number if there's something on your mind uh, that you'd like to get off your chest you can get it off your chest right now and uh, Alan hello hello Alan how are you very well thanks what do you think is slapping in kids in, in schools I wouldn't agree with it at all no. you wouldn't agree with it why not well this is from my own experiences in school when we used to get the, the old slaps with a ruler yeah if you misbehave or you're you know, speaking in a tone or whatever, you know. You would have not scared the living daylights out of you. I did, yeah, for sure. You know, you're probably dotting with your mates at the back of the class and, you know, you got the old smacks of the rule that ends up being... Yeah, but did that make you stop dotting with your mates down the back of the class? I did and I didn't. You know, some days you'd, be, you'd forget about the rule and all of a sudden then you'd be getting smacked. Yeah, but you see, Alan, I, if you were in the same class as me when we were in school, yeah... See, I went to school to actually learn and to try and make something good of myself and there was a load of young fellas that used to sit at the back messing, of the class. Yeah, but they deserve to get smacked. You see, the whole argument about uh, slapping, yeah? Yes. Let's imagine uh, we had a row with our boss, which we do regularly, I yeah? wanted to slap that man across the head so no, many times. No, but imagine imagine if uh, he came in and he was giving out to us, yeah? Yeah. Which he does regularly. I don't know why, because like we're the number one show in Ireland. He's no reason to give out to us. Uh, but he does anyway. Yeah, he does. Uh, and he comes over and he hits you a wallop. Yeah. You'd, like be, all, you'd like be prosecuting he, him. He comes up and I box the bloody ears off you. Yeah, and he actually did box the bloody ears off you. Yeah. You'd be prosecuting him. So what's the difference? Why is it not okay for your adult boss to come and hit you a dig, but it's okay, in your opinion, to slap a child? I, I'm not talking about beating children. I'm talking about a little bit Okay, of a, so, uh, so... Little look, look, that's on to look. So the boss man takes out his little stick out of his desk and he wallops you across the hand oh, for being bold. A, does he have a stick he in does, his desk? He does, yeah, he does. That's a bit psycho, that is. Um, Alan! Yes. How are you, Alan? How are you? Grand, thanks. What did you want to say on this? No, we were just chatting there earlier about the, the uh, school thing. Yeah, yeah, and you were one of these uh, class messers, were you? Not so much. It was, see, what used to happen in our school was that if you know the brother who was a daughter, and then when you went to the school, when they found out who you were, and if you misbehaved, they'd give you the slaps then. To make sure you don't turn out like your brother. Well, that's it. You know. And you obviously got slaps, did you? I uh, once or twice, yeah. I remember sometimes, you, you, you know, I remember this particular teacher that he'd even slap you if you got your, your ecker or your homework, because he used to call it wrong, you know? I know, that's, that's, that's bullshit, excuse me, French, isn't it? No, that's the truth. Though. It is. Slapping someone because they got their... No, I'm not, I, I believe you, but slapping someone because they got their homework wrong, that's... Yeah, but it wasn't right, but that's what used to happen, maybe. No, that's wrong. I'm talking about these little bastards... Uh, who used to sit at the back of my class sneering and jeering at the whole time and flicking spit at you when you in the middle of class and stuff like that. That's what they used to do, Alan. They used to put spit on the end of the ruler and flick it up why at you. Why yeah. Why didn't you ask me move to a different class? Oh, there was only one class they could put me in. <laughs> <laughs> there was. Um, somebody says on, on Twitter, by the way, you can follow us on Twitter if you, if you like. What do you mean um, somebody says? They obviously have a name. What are you uh, talking about I, somebody? I, well, because it's a stupid name. What's, the, what's their name on Twitter? The person's name on Twitter is iCrazy. Oh, 
Why, do, why don't people just use their name on yeah, Twitter? Yeah, like seriously. Oh, you crazy. Um, but anyway, uh, he says, if a teacher was to hit most of the lads in school these days, they'd get a wallet back. I'm taller than every single one of them. And that's why you're called I crazy. <laughs> that fella's mad he is. I crazy. I crazy. Everybody follow I crazy on Twitter. <laughs> Anyway, you can follow us on Twitter if you haven't done so already. I that. I'm following I crazy. Uh, our Twitter handle is at FM104 Phone Show. At FM104 Phone Show is where you'll find us on Twitter and on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash FM104 Phone Show. I'm just sending I crazy a tweet here. Uh, what are you saying? Uh, are you really that crazy? <laughs> By uh, the way, in, in a second as well, um, I'm going to be bringing you uh, something to do with a new craze that is out. That a lot of people are doing nowadays. It's going to shock you and disturb you in equal measures. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I crazy. He does look a bit crazy, doesn't he? He does, yeah. Why did he call himself I crazy? Because he's crazy. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's at FM104 Phone Show. You'll I, find I, us there. I wouldn't follow you into a shop page when that was giving away free stuff. Yeah, but our listeners might. Um, but that's not that's not my Twitter. It's uh, the phone show's Twitter. It's at FM one hundred four phone show. If you want to follow us on Twitter, um, oh, Cal and Bally Fermat has reminded me to say uh, the very best of luck. Uh, to everybody who is doing uh, or expecting their junior set results tomorrow. We'll be talking about that a little bit later on, but uh, fingers crossed for everybody, including my own daughter, Laura, who's uh, waiting for her junior set results. And I want to put it on the record that if Laura gets uh, three A's, she gets an iPhone 5. You gave out a few years ago with parents who buy yeah, who buy results for their kids. Yeah, it's, a good, it's a good bet, though. You're a two-faced prick. It's a good bet, though. You are... Uh, what? You're a two-faced No, break. I'm just putting it on the record. If Laura gets three A's, she gets an iPhone 5. She has to get A's. Three A's. You don't think I offered that for nothing, there, do you? No, I was, no, I was no. wondering. Uh, Craig, you're on FM 104. How are you, Craig? Hey, don't let's... Now, Craig, what's your view on, on, on corporal punishment in schools? No, just, you're saying there about uh, teachers just uh, allow slap kids. I think that's wrong. Like, if a teacher came up to me and, like, went to slap me, I'd stand up and train him, like... You do, you do what? I'd knock him clean out. You see, that's not right. You see, you're a bit of a hard man. You're a hard man, are you, Craig? Well, I'm bigger than everyone else in the year in school, like. Well, what do you What do you eat for your dinner? I don't know. Well, what, what makes you so big and strong? I don't know, just big, anyway. But, like, if he took a move to to hit me, I'd hit him back, like, I wouldn't take it, like. So you've no respect for teachers, basically, is that I what you're saying? Like, I have respect for teachers, but if they don't have respect for you, there's no point there. Them each like yeah, that. but if you're if you're messing in the class, they have a right to, to stop you from messing. Yeah, but like they should, they shouldn't resort to slapping kids. Like, like no, they have a right to stop you. Look, the the bottom line is, Jeremy, corporal punishment was done away with for a reason, and the reason being it wasn't fair. No, it was being it, abused. It was yeah, exactly, yeah, it was and abused. and it can't be brought back. It'll never be brought back. Ever, ever. Are you a messer in school, Craig? Well, I wouldn't say I'm a messer. I say I'm all right, like I'd keep my head down, but yeah, have to laugh as well, like. Because don't be a messer in school. I didn't mess in school and look where I ended up in life. Yeah, be a messer in school then. I ended up a sidekick on a two-bit <laughs> radio show on a crummy radio station. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, hey. Let's call a spade a spade. Thanks, Craig. No bother. Thanks, lad. Thanks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, well, not boys and girls, you go to bed now because it's about to get a bit adult. It is. It's about to get, no, not that. Oh, not that. No, no, something else. Oh. This is a craze. That uh, people have been telling me about the last couple of weeks and I decided to look into it a bit. Yeah. Um, it's a craze among single people. Okay, that's all the go now, okay? Hmm. Did you know that one-tenth of single people have done this in the last year? One-tenth of single no, people? No, not tent. Tenth. That's what I said. No, no sorry. <clears throat> a tent is something you have when you go to uh, oxygen or electric picnic. Okay, one-tenth. No. <laughs> One tenth of people. No, a tenth is something you camp out in if you're homeless. Ten percent. No, one tenth. Say it. That's what I said. One tenth. One tenth of people. Tenth. No, I'm not talking about a tenth full of people. I'm talking about the fraction one over ten. Oh, why didn't he just say that? Who's who? Why would I be talking about a tenth of people? A tenth full of people. Yeah. Oh, one geez. tenth of people. Um, sorry, ten percent of people have done. Single people have done this in the last year. Yes, I want to see if you can guess what it is. We're going to open the phones live, and I will give a locator that that thing, an ELG, an FM one four phone show, electronic locator gadget, to the person who can guess um, what this is. Now I've asked a few single mates of mine. And yeah. Yes, 
a lot of them, a lot of them have done it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Ha, 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 did you ever do it? Did I do it when I was single? Yeah. Um. Honestly, yeah, we, no. we, yeah, we'll pass. We'll pass. <laughs> That's a yes. No, no, no. We'll that was pass. a yes. No, we'll, we'll so pass. Jeremy even did it when he was single. No, Jeremy did. Don't, don't put words in my mouth. Well, I'd say you probably did, though. One tenth. One tenth of people. Tenth. Yeah, that's what I said, yeah. One tenth of people sorry, have, 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 have done on, sorry, this. Sorry, corporal punishment is coming back. What? That's what for. Come here, you hey, don't hit. Yeah. Ow! One tenth of people. Jesus, remind me never to do that again. I just slapped Adrian on the nose and I broke my wrist. Ow. Of all the places to slap you. One tenth of people. That's ten percent. Adrian's uh, nose had a fight with a pickaxe last week. <laughs> pickaxe is still recovering in hospital. One tenth of pe- single people have done this. What is it? Call us right now, 67971104, if you think you know what the answer is. And we will give a, uh, not text, by the way, we said call, and we will give an FM104 electronic locator gadget to the person that gets it right. Sing- okay, let's, let's go to the phones then. FM104, hello? Hello. How are you? I'm Grand. What's, How are you? What's your name? My name is Marcella. How are you, Marcella? Lovely to I'm talk grand. to you, Chung One. How are you? I'm Grand. Now, now Marcella. Yeah. One in ten people who are single have done this in the last year. What do you think it is? I think it's unprotected sex because a lot of people wouldn't admit it. Have you ever done it yourself? Me? Oh no, I'm an angel. Really? <laughs> yeah, I heard the laughing in the background there, Marcella. <laughs> Um, one tenth of people in the last single people in the last year have had unprotected sex. Yes. Is that the answer we're looking for? No, it's no. not. No, it's not. Adrian, you don't know the answer. I do know the answer. Oh, yeah. Do you know the answer? yeah, I do. No. I do. I do. I do. But now we're not reading out texts, but John and Drumcondra, you are one sick, sick, sick fool. Ah, oh, Jesus, John. How could you? Let me see if I could even do that. No, there, there are those who can. Really? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a unique skill. Let me see if I can do it. Hang on. No, not a, not a, not a chance. No, could no. Could you do it? No, no. Oh, you no. certainly could do it with that belly in the way. What? You certainly couldn't do it with that belly in the way. <laughs> even if you had a 16-inch long, you should still wouldn't be able to get to it with that belly. FM 104, hello. Hi, how's it going? How are you? Who's that? Uh, it's Michael. How are you, Michael? Now, what's the answer, Michael? Uh, is it used dating websites? Use dating websites? Yeah. One in ten single people in the last year have used dating websites? <laughs> no, Michael, that's not the answer we're looking no, for. No, it's a lot more than that, isn't it? Everybody's using dating websites now, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. If you were uh, to uh, put an ad up on a dating website, what would your, your, your handle be? What would you say about yourself? I'm big and looking for love. Yeah, that's not There's bad. No yeah, I like that. Yeah. I'm big and looking for... Uh, right, or what yeah. else would you I, say? I'd change it tonight when I go home. What? I'm your man off the radio. I'm your man off the radio, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. FM 104, hello. How are you doing? How are you getting on? Not too bad, yes, sir. What's your name? Uh, my name's Stephen. How are you, Stephen? Have we ever spoken before? Uh, once or twice, yeah. Good yeah, man. Yeah, I thought I recognised your voice. Not the first time, Carl, anyway. Now, Stephen, one in ten people... Uh, I think I had a shot at the opposite sex. Like, the same sex. Oh, had a shot of the same sex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just popped into mind now. Jeez, it's not, uh, it's not a thing I do. Like, ah, yeah. yeah just, exactly. just, to, just to clear that up. It's funny the way you said that <laughs> straight away, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just in case my mouth's listening. Just yeah, just to get that out of the way, Mammy, yeah. I, ha- I haven't been bed into a young fella. Um, yeah. Is that the answer we're looking for? One in ten single people have had a go at the same sex. Mm. No, that's not the answer we're looking for. No worries, lad. Just say hello to me, as well. Bye bye. Why do, we, right. why do we know your ma? No, no, I'm just Oh, I thought we knew. I thought we knew your ma. You probably do, actually, now. She was on the streets, you know. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say about your mother. Ah, no, I love her a bit. It's a money messing. Good luck. Fair play. <laughs> bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. This is a new craze we're talking about, and it's. Um, so, one in ten single people. Single people have done this. Have done this, yeah. What the hell is and it? And it's, it's a dangerous game to play, Kennedy. It's a, it's not, it, it can backfire on you. Really? Yeah. Okay, 67971041 is by our the telephone way, number. It's, a, it's across the sexes as well. It's men and women. In fact, it says here, in research I just made up, it says here that women are more likely to do it than men. Really? Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Ooh, right. Yep, yep, yep. Why are you doing that noise? I have no idea. 
Alan, you're on FM 104. How are you, Alan? Hello, Alan. Oh, he's not there. Uh, Rebecca. Hi. How are you, Rebecca? Fine. One in ten single people have done this in the last year. What is it? Uh, got a prostitute. Jesus. Okay, but he said it's men and women. Do no, women, women use prostitutes. Nah, not that much. Mm. Hmm. Pay for sex. Is that the answer? Is that the answer? No, no it's no, not, Rebecca. No, it's not the answer. Bye. Um, where am I going now? Brian! What's the story? How are you, Brian? It's not Brian, it's Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Talk shit, lads. Get it right. I'm sorry, it's but not it's our fault. It's, it's, the, it's the, the, the incompetence the, we have working for us. The bimbo we have working for us. I, you can't say that loud. Who cloud? Be the naughty accent, is it? Seriously, like, she's upset now. Oh, is she? So, yeah. Sorry, bimbo. Oh, send me sorry, Michelle. That is so rude. Oh, it's Michelle working tonight. I thought it was someone else. Oh, no, we love you, Michelle. You you stay. Now, what's the answer, Brian? Dogging. Sorry? A bit of dogging. A bit of dogging? Oh, I can up to the park having sex with Oh, we know what dogging is. Well, no, we don't, actually. But uh, have you ever done that yourself, Brian? Uh, on a few occasions. Really? Oh, I share my adventures. Oh, yeah, no, don't knock it till you've tried it. Then. Well, I haven't tried it. No, <laughs> don't uh, knock it then. My lodges are always up now, Phoenix Park. Really? You reckon? Uh, yeah, that's because we're very interested in taking photographs of deer. <laughs> Is that the answer? One in ten single people in the last year have tried a bit of dogging. No, dogging. Dogging. No, that's no, the wrong no, answer. that's not the right answer. I'm afraid. Um, have you ever been up at the Phoenix Park at night? It's the, lovely. What? It's lovely. Really? Oh, have you not seen all the deer? Wouldn't be for me now. Last time up there, there was a couple of uh, a couple of old deers up there. Was there? Yeah. What were they doing? What? What were they doing? Running through the grass and stuff like that. The Phoenix Park is lovely at night. Go uh, to the, you can go to the Papal Cross. Why would you go at night? What? Why would you go at uh, night? You, you meet a different ilk of person. Oh, I'd the say Phoenix you do. Park all right, night, yeah. Lisa. Yeah. One in ten single people have done this in the last year. What is it? I'd have taken it up the bum. Jesus Christ, oh God. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Jesus, Lisa. Oh, wait, let's just take a <laughs> sip of water here. Hang on for a sec there. <laughs> you need more than a sip of water. <sighs> Lisa, um, Lisa, why would you even think about that? It's just a random thing that pops into my head. It's a very it, bloody it's random. It's random, it's random, all right. Yeah. Is that the answer we're looking for? <laughs> no, thank, <laughs> thank God. Christ. No, it's not. The thoughts of even bringing that yeah, up. Jump, jump, the... jump, 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 jump. Christine. Yes. Christine, one in ten single people have done this in the last year. What is it? Okay, so my suggestion is celibacy. Oh. She says, the main, only on this show could we go from they take it up the bum <laughs> to celibacy. <laughs> yeah, but There's I'm no in between there, there, is there, Adrian? <laughs> <laughs> the first girl goes, they take it up the bum. And the second woman goes, celibacy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why you listen to FM 104. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> is that the answer we're looking for? Oh, so one in ten single people have been celibate in the last year. I'd say that. I'd say that's probably quite accurate, but it's not the right answer. No, 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 no. no. We'll take another couple on this because. Um, are you celibate? Come again. Are you celibate? Well, no, but I'm I'm with someone, so that's a little different. Oh, you well, see, you can be celibate and with someone as well. Well, you could be, but that's a little dull. I actually know a, um, believe it or not, I know a prostitute, Christine, yeah? You do? And she's and she's been celibate for the last year, yeah? yeah well, she's not making much money then, is she? Ah, no, she is. Um, she'd sell a bit here and sell a bit there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Christine. Where, where, where are you from, Christine? How, how come we've never spoken to you before? I'm visiting from Canada, Montreal. From Montreal, Canada? Yep. Bet you know radio shows like that, over, like this over there. We do, yes. Howard Stern. And never mind Howard. Howard Stern's a pussy. Oh uh, well, I, I don't listen to him much. But... Oh, yeah, he's he's got a big girl. He is. <laughs> he Amer- America's Got Talent. Ah, Seriously, yeah, yeah, yeah. honestly, yeah. Howard. <laughs> yeah, he's not even American, is he? No, he's Canadian, is he? I think he's Canadian. Isn't he? Robert. Hello, how are you doing? Lad? How are you, Robert? Now, one in ten single people have done this in the last year. What is it? Talk is about what they walk at. Ooh. Why, have you, have you ever done that? Yeah. Oh, you have? Uh, you have to. 
Why? What have you said that's just so untrue? I walked, I walked in the airport and uh, basically just told him like I was a co-pilot, you know. You, you were you're a co-pilot at Dublin Airport. Because I had because I had all the all the tags and all the uh, the passes and that, you know. And what did you do in Dublin Airport? Basically, just cleaned the aircraft. <laughs> It's a bit of a difference. It fucking worked. <laughs> Did it? it yeah. A oh, women love pilots, Adrian. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, 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 nuts, you know? I have my pilot's uniform at home. Oh. Uh, is that the answer? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, 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 no. Three more calls, and then I'll actually tell you what it is because um. You've yeah, been painting your painting me me. Uh, Brendan. Yes. One in ten of uh, single people have done this in the last year. What is it? Like internet sex or something. How do you have internet sex? Probably sit on your laptop. Oh, yeah, I suppose you could. Is that the answer? No. No, but you're quite close. I, I won't tell you the other one then. Really? Well, what was the other one? Cyber sex, something like that. No. Cyber sex? What's cyber sex, Adrian? Uh, let's move on Okay <laughs> Okay Thank you Bye 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 I think that's pathetic These men who sit at home On their laptops um, You know these chat rooms You can go into Where you can look at women Undressing and tell them What to do Yeah Oh you do know them I've you? seen them yeah They pop oh, up on your you? computer All the time Oh really I've never seen them at all yeah, no, they pop tell, up, tell me about them They pop up all the time And then you just close them down oh, again I'd say they do pop up All the time These men <laughs> Who sit at home On their laptops Looking up these websites Here when you remove Your bra who are these weirdos? Here, when you blow me a kiss on your <laughs> webcam. That's the way they talk, by the way. Don't they? Here, you're really sexy. I've just described uh, you, by the way. Neil. How's it going, lads? How are you, Neil? Not too bad. Neil, have you ever gone onto one of those websites where you can go into, like, webcam rooms and... No, no, I haven't. But I wouldn't mind. Really? Yeah, yeah. Whatever you're into. Hey, oh. Who's who's vomiting in the background there? No, that, that's my GPS telling me to uh, to turn right at the next roundabout. It didn't sound very like that. No, it just sounded like. <laughs> 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 um. Anyway, one in ten of uh, single people have done this in the last year. What is it? I reckon it's gone to a dominatrix. Ooh. Now we're getting somewhere. We were talking about spanking earlier on. We in the were. Show. Um, is that the answer? Why have you ever done it yourself? No, but I wouldn't mind either. Really? Yeah, there's, really there's, a to- there's a topic for another night. Um, oh, yeah. Is that the answer? <laughs> no. Honestly, would you be brave enough to go to a dominatrix? I don't know. It's, it's kind of tempting, though, isn't have it? Have you ever had hot wax poured over your Lee Roadie? No, no. No, no well, no. but trust me, it's not a nice thing to happen. Uh, yeah, but like, to go and. Be submissive and have some woman spank you and I know the spanking you can handle but it's the hot wax on your on your Lee Roadie. Yeah, but they don't just hot wax you, they they rub your against cheese graters and uh, what? Who no. would be into that? <laughs> you never watch Mr. Scarlet, no? No. Uh YouTuber or you jizz or how, 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 how could you get sexual gratification from having your knob rubbed up against a cheese grater? <laughs> get the helicopter as well. I did, Jesus oh, I'm gone. blushing here I'm, The world's gone mad It is gone <laughs> And you'd be into like Hot wax on your nipples And all this would no, you No no The hot waxing Wouldn't do me No Be more into the pain And nipple clamps And all that Nipple clamps yeah Would you You'd be into nipple clamps oh, Yeah Why not Try anything once Gee, You're a bit of a sick gays Aren't you Yeah we all are yeah, good. Have you a woman in your life I do And does she know About your perversions no, she doesn't, know. No, no, I keep it that way, buddy. <laughs> Good luck. So like. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye. Right, one last call. Sorry, we, what are, man, are we going to get the answers what to this? Would, would, I don't what know. What self-respecting man no idea. would allow himself I to be no idea. nipple clamped with you a chain? You wouldn't, you wouldn't, nipple would you? Nipple clamped. You, you just wouldn't. And hot wax on his Lee roadie. Last one. Daryl, one in ten uh, single people in the last year have done this. What is it? Is it cried over their past? Pardon me? Cried over their past. Cried over their past? Yeah. Is it cried over their past? No, it's no, not. No, no, uh, no, no. Thanks for playing our uh, ridiculously yeah. stupid game. It though. was ridiculously stupid, yeah. Now, Aoife Byrne and Rathfarnham, we told you it wasn't a tech show. Um, and it's unfortunate because you're quite close, actually. 
and hopefully we'll talk to some people who have done this. This is a new craze, Aidan, that I'm about to... Uh, uh, Adrian's the name, but go on anyway. I know, I'm off flustered over the nipple clamp thing. <laughs> Why would you? I don't know. Why though? No, it's not the nipple... Do you mind the nipple clamp? Yes, I will mind the nipple I, clamp. I can deal with that. I can't deal with that. It's the cheese grater. <laughs> I know, if she, if she was good looking, the cheese grater, you'd ah, say, Ah, stop right. it. No, 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 no. Ah. I feel ill. No, it's the hot wax on the on the on the, the, the on your trollics. No. Have you, ever sp- have you ever spilled? What's the craze? Will you just have you ever t- spilled hot wax just on tell your me. finger? Yeah, it How hurts. Sorry? Can you yeah. imagine that on your your other thing? Just tell me what it is, will you? One tenth of single people have admitted that in the last year, they have sent someone they fancy a photograph, a sexy photograph on their really? phone. Yes, it, and I've asked a few people. This is the big thing now. If say you fancy me, yeah, and I'm not interested in you. You'll um, take a photograph of yourself pulling your plum or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. What do you do when you go home at night? <laughs> okay, up too far? Very much so, okay. yeah. yeah very you much you so. fancy me, okay? I don't really. Okay, but supposing you fancy me. I can't even imagine that, but okay, go on. Supposing you fancy me. Yeah. And you want to get my attention. You And there's a, there's a phrase for I'm sure someone will let me know what the phrase is. Um, but you'll send me a photograph. Of you like half naked or whatever with your, your Taj in your hand or something like that. Will I? And go, here's what you're missing out on, big boy. <laughs> Everybody is doing it nowadays. <laughs> Are you somebody who has either, either done this? First of all, if anybody can text us and let us know what it's called. There's a, there's a phrase for it. Um, basically sending someone you fancy a dirty photograph on your phone. If, you have some, if you're someone that has either received... Like, I know I have a girlfriend. A friend is a girl, yeah? Yeah. And she got a uh, photograph from a fella that fancies her a couple of weeks ago. And it's him standing in his underpants with a big boner in his underpants saying, and you know what the message said underneath it? It's here for you when you want it. <laughs> yeah. So she gets, really? a me- she gets a message on her phone one Friday night and she opens it and it's from, say, Bill. Yeah. And she opens it up and there's a photograph of him in his underwear. It's here for you when you want it. <laughs> Five, two, uh, six, seven, nine, seven, one, four. If you've either sent one of these sexy pictures or if you've been a recipient of them. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for tonight's cheesy tabloid headline. Bum, bum, bum. Now, you know, yeah, here, stop yeah, the music on. for a sec. Yeah, what? I have a feeling people are going to be a bit coy and shy about admitting that they've sent uh, sexy pictures. Yeah. I'll give an FM104 electronic locator gadget to the first person who admits that they've done it. There you go, 6797104. It's called sexting, by the way. Sexting. Really? Sex texting. That's what it's, it's called. called. Sexting. It? Yeah. It's here for you when you want it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for our cheesy tabloid headline. In Port St. Lucie in Florida, a young man is recovering after police say he shot himself in the penis and testicle while cleaning a gun he just bought. Well, that's not very funny. No, not really. Not for him. Yeah, go on. It happened last Thursday morning at the home um, on 20... 20- 200 Veranda Street, poor St. Lucie. Doctors say the bullet went through the penis of Michael Smiglow, then through his le- left testicle and lodged itself in his thigh. Luckily, both the penis and the testicle survived the blast and are expected to make a full recovery. However, he's been warned to stay away from sex and or masturbation for at least two months. OK, there you go. Text us right now to 5... 5- 3104 with your cheesy tabloid headline. Go for it right now. Cheesy tabloid headline. Um, if g- Give us the story one more time. Okay, make sure you put your name in the text as well. In Port St. Lucie in Florida, a young man is recovering after police say he shot himself in the penis and testicle while cleaning a gun he just bought. So he was cleaning the gun. Yeah. And he let one off. Literally. A bullet. It happened on Thursday morning. On Veranda Street in Port St. Lucie. Doctors say the bullet went through the penis of Michael Smiglow and his left testicle and then lodged itself in his thigh. Luckily, Adrian, Mm -hmm. both the penis and the testicle have survived the blast and are expected to make a full recovery. Thanks be to God. However, um, he's been warned by doctors to stay away from sex and or masturbation for at least two months. Basically... No change. No. No change. Okay. Send it right now to 53104 with your name, please. Because no namey on the text, no reading the text. No, keep those um, uh, keep those cheesy tabloid headlines coming in because the uh, the one that makes us laugh the most yes. will win themselves a copy of uh, Titanic on Blu-ray with thanks to uh, our friends at Tesco.
Now, give, uh, regale us with the story again one more time, please, so uh, we can uh, get those texts coming in, in right Port, now. In Port St. Lucie, Florida, a young man is recovering after a police say he shot himself in the penis and testicle while cleaning the gun he just bought. It happened on Thursday morning. Actually, it's irrelevant when it happened, isn't it? It probably yeah. is, yep. Doctors say the bullet went through the penis of Michael Smiglow, through his left testicle, and then lodged itself in his thigh. Luckily, both the penis and testicle have survived the blast and are expected to make a full recovery. However, he's been warned to stay away from sex and or masturbation for at least two months. Poor old Mr. Smiglow. What a name. What? What a name. That's the least of his worries now at the moment, Adrian. <laughs> Seriously. John, you're on FM 104. How are you, John? How's it going, Adrian? Now, John, you have both sent and received... Um, uh, pictures and videos. Pictures and videos? Yeah, well, sometimes the video is like, you can only make them last like 15 seconds. She's a little Steven Spielberg here. So <laughs> <laughs> Schindler's fist. <laughs> No, that's called. What's that called? Is that no, sh- shut up! Shut up! No, that's not shut up! Shut up! Yeah, that's the one actually. Yeah. You you sent a video called Schindler's Fist. <laughs> no, no, uh, porn flakes. And so, if you fancy a woman, um, basically, you will send her a sexy photo. Fo- like, what f- sort of photographs would you send her? Uh, well, some of them are fake, like. You what? Some of them are a bit fake. Really? Well, like there's one. Well, where, uh, oh, do we what do we want to know? Um. Well, this one. I'll tell you this one's not too bad. Okay. Do you know the way you, your index finger and your uh, thumb, you can draw a little face on it and make a mouth out of it? I never knew that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you put your hands together, draw a little face and make a mouth and make a talk and all. Oh, you can as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I drew a, a face on and wrote uh, the girl's name and I was there to pretend that was her and record and send it to her. Uh, you know, pull me through like... Say that again. He mentioned flutes and yeah, I heard the word flute there. I'm trying to work out where the flutes. Well, right, yeah, I drew the face on my hand. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I was making a mouth out of it. Yeah. I was like, oh hello, and pretend. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, and basically, <laughs> made my hand give myself an old oral. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> so you you and, and the video lasted a whopping fifteen seconds. Oh, that's as long as they'll take it for. <laughs> and you sent this to a woman you fancied, and what message did you get back? Um, well, I showed it to her the next day and work. And? And, uh, well, a few weeks later, yeah, we were going out. Really? That did it for her? Well, for, at first, she didn't really, she was kind of scared of me. She didn't want to take I wouldn't blame her. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared of you, and I don't even know you. Uh, but then a few weeks later, I charmed her over, you know what I mean? You yeah. charmed her over with your little videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And have you done this to other women? Because this is this is uh, big now, isn't it? Well, all my mates and all do, yeah. The, the, and have you ever got a, um, a sexy a sexy message from a woman? Yeah, yeah, loads of times. Really? Yeah. Because I, I've a mate who did get a, a photograph from a woman. She basically sent him a photograph of her like completely naked. What sort yeah. of woman? What sort of woman would do something like that? Ah, uh, you do it when you're at home on your own. You send a picture, they send a picture, and then back and forth, and turns into videos. And and are you are you not afraid that um that she's going to show the picture to everybody? No, should I show them? So hold on, a girl sent you a photograph of her naked, and you sent it to all your mates. No, I don't send it. I show them. But ah, no, bang out of order, isn't it? Mm, yeah, a little bit. Ah, yeah. no. Anyway, you you've got yourself an electronic locator gadget. Well done, John. All right, thanks a million. You, s- you six, right, six. Uh, Text us in your details, John. Will you? Yeah, we'll do. Good man, thanks sick, very much. You sick bastard. It is a bit, yeah. Anyway, that's the new thing. It's called sexting. Sexting, yeah. Sexting, that's what it is. So um, what? So what do I do again? I take a picture of me. You draw a little face on your hand. Yeah, I draw a little face on my hand, yeah. Yeah. By the way, I'll give another electronic locator gadget to a woman who's willing to admit that she sent a po- photograph. Do you think a woman would admit that? No, they won't, no. Loads of them do, though. Are we ready for this? Hang on, I'm drawing a little face on my hand. <laughs> what, will I, what will I call the name of my hand? What will I call her? Bridie. Bridie. Look. So there's the little eyes in the mouth. Hello, I am Bridie. <laughs> I want a penis now. Where's me penis? <laughs> I'll put that video up. Oh, there. I can't wait. Jesus Christ. That's why people tune into this show. This is FM 104's phone show. Here come your cheese. 
tabloid headlines. No need to prolong that, by the way. Ah, there is. There is. It's very, very cheesy. Uh, okay, we want you to text us in a story about this poor man in Florida. Mr. Schmiglow. Mr. Schmiglow. And here comes some of your cheesy tabloid headlines. Are you ready? Yeah, don't forget the rule, the golden rule. Adrian, Remind us of the story one more time, please. Know, Mr. Schmiglow, no. what did he do? He was playing with his gun and he shot a bullet through his penis and his testicle. Okay, basically. that's yeah. what you do. Uh, Sean and Blanche says he shot his load. Okay, we like that one. Yeah, Obviously, okay, yeah. we like it, Jess. Uh, man makes balls of shooting his load, says yes, Gareth well, and Cabra. Okay, yeah, okay, yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, one stuck in the chamber. Okay, mm-hmm. well done, Dom. Yeah, it's a gun in the chamber of yeah, the... Uh, that, yeah. um, Gary and Balbriggan, Smigolo. No longer a gigolo. No, he's not. <laughs> I like Come on, Gary. Yeah, very good. Um, Alan and Castle Lock. Lock, stock and two smoking bollocks. Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> yeah, you can. I can, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we like that. Um, man f- gives himself a fourth eye. Says Graeme Smith. <sighs> That's the most stupid headline I ever heard. Yeah, where was his third eye? No, I don't get that at all. Okay, what else have we um, got? Uh, we have a lot of shooting blanks here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a lot of... Um, do oh, Sean England Dawkin. Hot nuts. Hot nuts, yes. Hot nuts, okay. Um, David, no- David and Bray, man shoots half his load. <laughs> okay. Only half his load, yeah. Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay, here comes some more of your cheesy tabloid headlines. Man blowing his load blows more than expected. Oh, yes. Says like Damo and Navin. Yes. Um, Here's one from Tom. Bullet goes pong and into the schlong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like that as well. Well done. Keep them coming in. 53104. Uh, the do, only do, show on the radio that encourages smut. Isn't that right? Uh, Smiglo the jiglo shoots his load. Okay, no more of the jiglo. Yeah, uh, and no more of the load either. I mean, honestly. Yeah, seriously. We're so, yeah. so immature. Young man, instead of shooting blanks, he shoots his ball sack. <laughs> Says Ethan Tyler. Well, uh, Peter and Nagel says, "I told you I wasn't shooting blanks." So you think his name is Peter Nagel? That's what I just said. You said Peter in Nagel. Yeah, that thing. Uh, here's one from Katrina. Goodness gracious! Great, great balls, balls of, of fire! fire. <laughs> Very yes. good. Uh, do do do. Uh, Man shot in left testicle feels a right bollocks. <laughs> says Ray and Lucan. <laughs> Ah, we like that. That's got yeah, the best laugh so far, yeah, Ray. You're yeah. doing well, you're doing well. You're and in the lead. And it takes a lot to make us laugh. It does. Um, they do. Man polishing one off nearly blows his head off. Here's one from Sinead. Andy the Milkman. Who's a, Mandy's a milkman? Sh- Andy's the milkman. Oh, Andy. Yeah. Uh, Sinead Bob Briggan says, Hole in his head and deflated sack. Poor L. Mickey. Because his name is Michael, you see. And he shot his Mickey. Okay. Uh, we're Here, oh, here's one from Anne Marie. Yeah, go on. A cock and ball story. A cock and balls. Man shot his load and police said he was hard, a hard up criminal and said he had some balls. Says Fran and Dulik. Seriously, Fran, that takes up half the newspaper. Okay, here's one from Claire in Rathfarnham. Bullseye. Fairly bang yeah, on, yeah, all right. Yes. Um, cock up shootout in not so wild west as Stephen Byrne and Navin. Here's one from Louise. No hanky panky for a month due to Rick O'Shea. <laughs> What's he got to do with it? Who? Rick O'Shea. It's when the bullet ricocheted. Go away, is that where that fella got his name from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Who knew? Jesus. Uh, uh, do, do. Ooh, balls. Trigger happy man's banger was mashed. Here's one from G. And man gives himself a blow job because the gun blew off. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Nice and simple. Yeah. And uh, one or two more. John and Sandy Mount Man shoots his load While cleaning his pipe <laughs> um, One from Zach Florida man tries to Cock his gun Cock his gun Okay yeah, And yeah. one more Man makes a balls Of cleaning his gun No shooting blanks For this man No 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 no, no. Okay, no Here's, that's one, it, here's that's one from Lorraine And she, she sums it up quite well Man can no longer come Because of mishap with gun that's not bad, Lorraine. Yeah, That's yeah. not bad. Okay, the winner is, uh, the winner is to down here. Here we go. The winner is this one. Ray and Luke. Okay, Ray and Luke, and well done to you, Ray. Man shot in left testicle feels a right bollocks. <laughs> we like it. We like it. Thank you very much indeed. And more opportunities for you to play with cheesy tabloid headlines tomorrow night on the FM 104 Phone Show. I have one for you, by the way. Oh yeah, go on. Man who shoots his left testicle feels like a right bollocks. That's the one that won. 
It's the one that won you, like, Doug. I, I guess it is true. I do rob me jokes from yeah, everybody from else. Everybody, yeah, everybody, yeah. 